fine uh, I'm sorry for the lack of videos the last couple of two weeks but I was very tired my chronic pain was very horrible I think it is due to the month of December that was very busy for me and uh, it was fun <laughs> don't forget I had a fun time but uh, it take his toll on me and I had to do, uh, do a step back and uh, just give my body some rest um, the fatigue was the most uh, difficult because I the pain is always there um, but uh, due to fatigue my English is very bad um, and it's still <laughs> not okay okay but uh, I wanted to make this video I promised you to make this video and uh, here it is um, I'm a little bit shameful to show you uh, the books that I didn't touch and didn't color in I hope to at least color in as many books this year uh, as possible I already make a good start I colored I think in already five books or six books that I didn't touch so I make uh, a start and I want to color in every book that I'm gonna show you today some of them are very um, intimidating for me to color in I will tell you which books they are and um, there are I think two books that I gonna skip and not gonna color in them because they are not available anymore so they will be the last books that I will color in and <laughs> you can already see I have enough books to color in and um, for now I try not to buy any coloring books anymore um, I make a promise to myself if I finish a book then I may buy one um, yeah I try <laughs> at least I will try not to buy any coloring books because I have so many books not colored in so let's start uh, with the books I'm gonna show you every book that I didn't color in and we'll do a quick flip through to through them because this is gonna be a long video I think um, and where should I put them <laughs> um, I have to think uh, which way is the best way to do this um, I think like this <laughs> and get that uh, here so Let's start with the first one. That is this one. Um, I'm not certain which language this is. When is oh, this is in Dutch. <laughs> but it is by Fabiana Athanasia. And this is Alice in Wonderland. And uh, I didn't color it in this book. Not yet. They are beautiful pages in this book. And uh, in most of the book, I cannot wait to color in them. So, it's not that I didn't want to color in them, but I don't have the time. That's the most problem that we have all. <laughs> we want to have more hours in our day. And then we have this book. Uh, they are not in order, so you can see some of the um, illustrators uh, back again. <laughs> I picked them out uh, randomly. Me? <laughs> random <laughs> and um, yeah <laughs> you're gonna see some of uh, the illustrators back again with another coloring book this is a coloring book whimsical darling holiday season by Jana Jana Prosperina I had to color in this one with Christmas but maybe in Christmas in July it will be and they are lovely pages Last year I finished one of her coloring books, so sometimes I give love to one book and then go to the next book. That is also a reason why some of them are not colored in. 
and this is one of my newest books this is the mouse stick mouse by morgan o'brien a christmas coloring book and they are such cute small pages and i'm gonna color in this book in july too or in december but they are quite nice the next one is Mermaid, the Mita Victoria. This is a light scale, light grayscale coloring book. There are um, duplicates in this book, so you can color your pages two times, and they are quite fun and nice pages too. All my books are picked with love so I'm gonna enjoy this book too the next one is by Elena Lazareva Elegant Beauties um, this is the second time that I buy this book because the first one I had very bad yellowing uh, so that was disappointing so I bought myself another copy and I know I'm gonna have fun in this book coloring in. And here are also um, duplicates. And this is the bonus pages. And that I didn't have in the other books. And they are a little bit different, uh, different between the this book and the other books. So that is fun. <laughs> so it's not totally the same uh, that I'm gonna color, but. beautiful book and then I have the coloring book cafe four season coloring book 10 amazing coloring pages I'm not very happy with this book I'm not certain if I'm gonna keep it but for now I will keep it and maybe I will find um, some pages that I really like to color in. They are, there are pages that I like to color in, but this is a big book, and there are four seasons, so that is also nice. The only thing that I could do, um, put on the back or at least on the on the page if they are summer spring or autumn you have to guess now and sometimes you can see which season they are but it would be nice if they um, make it more noticed and then we have this book by Melly Melly Molly Harrison <laughs> whimsical world big book color book 10 uh, illustration to color um, this is the only book that I have by Molly Harrison and they are very cute and I cannot wait to color in this book too it is a little bit intimidating some of the pages because I see some of the beautiful colorists make such beautiful pages and I'm not the best of that. I'm doing my best, but but this is my coloring book, and I can decide how they will be. And I like that most of the pages do have borders. I think all of the pages have borders. I like to have that they have borders around them. This one is also very nice. I saw some pages that I really love to color in <laughs> and then I have here a coloring haven mermaid special uh, they are by different uh, illustrators and this is the only coloring haven that I didn't color in the other three I did color in so that is very <laughs> good for me and I like my mermaids, I like my fairies, so I know I'm gonna color in this book. 
And I also like there are different illustrators in this book too. And some of them I don't have any coloring book from. And some of them I do have, but I don't have t uh, that book. So that's nice. And then we have 50 Delightful Fairies by Camellia Ensikova. I like myself some fairies too. <laughs> if you follow my channel, you know with what I like and what I don't like. Sometimes I will go out of my comfort zone. This one is very, very uh, detailed, very small area. So it's going to be a task coloring in. But it, I think if they are colored in, they will be beautiful. I really like that she has different kinds of coloring book because the next one I'm going to show you is the 50 jungle miniatures and I really like myself some miniature coloring book I have them all I know there is a new one out but I put it in my basket but I'm gonna leave it in the basket for now <laughs> I uh, gonna try not to buy any books this year What oh, is this book? I cannot wait to color in this book too. That's in most of my books. It is also fun to look at my books again. Um, if you want to see a video with all the books that I already colored in, let me know in the description. Then I will show you that too. I will put them uh, separate so that I know which book I have to color in. In which book I don't. And the next one is also Camellia and Jacoba. It's just uh, lucky that they <laughs> were um, at the row. <laughs> and this is the 50 Safari, Safari Miniatures. I'm surprised that I didn't color in this book and in the other books too from Camellia and Jacoba. Because most of her books are colored in. And this one I think is also very fun it's a quick flip through if you want to be, see a full flip through you can find it on other youtube channel and otherwise just uh, ask me down in the description and then i will do a slower flip through of each book that you want to see this is my Sally Berry easy mushroom coloring books i don't have a lot of her books too but they are fun to color in and this is just easy. They have big lines. And uh, I love some mushrooms. You can go all the colors you want to use. Uh, last year I finished uh, the flower modellas of Sally Berry. So I want to have another book from her. And I did in December uh, the advent calendar of her. I finished uh, quite some coloring books too, so I don't have to be that hard on myself, but uh, uh, at least I want to try to color every book that I'm going to show you. This is Peter Pan, also by Fabienne Astanasia. Astanasia, yeah, <laughs> that's right. And I buy this book and the other books in, uh, in the sale, they were only three to four euros that's not uh, expensive at all so that's the reason why i bought it and this is also a fun book and i hope i can go can color in this book with water based markers i will test them out first and otherwise it is with color pencils that is fine too So this was Peter Pan. The next book I'm not also not very fond of. That is uh, The Floating Islands by Coco Wayu. But I will give it a try. Maybe I will learn to love it. But um, 
this book and the other book that I already have shown, those are the, other, the only two books that I'm not very certain about that I will gonna color in or want to keep. It's more all the details on these pages. Um, I have not an idea how to color in the pages, but maybe it will come. Otherwise, I will go uh, give this book away. But I give it a, a year. Maybe it will grow on me. <laughs> The next book is by Teresa Goodrich, Home Sweet Home, coloring book. And this is also very detailed, but I like uh, her style. I already colored in one of her book. And there will be a page that I really like. To color in. This is a book that I got from my sister, uh, the Christmas coloring book for adults. I hope to color in this book in July because I didn't get around. Uh, this year, of next year in December. <laughs> this one, oh, by which illustrator already was this? This by Dina Stone. She has more coloring books. Most of my books I bought on Amazon, so you can find them there. This is the art coloring book. Enigma by Lenka Felenko. <laughs> this is Sammy Gray. This is her name. I hope you can see it. <laughs> and this is also one of my newer books. So, uh, I had no, no, had no time to color in this book yet. It's a beautiful coloring book. This is color on number and this is uh, the Dutch edition. This is all um, Dutch themed. This is a book that I bought on ball.com. So not on Amazon. And they by this book you could buy also a color pencil set uh, that they already gave the numbers you have to use on the pages. I already started somewhere <laughs> already but yeah I started here and the color pencils I'm not certain about them not yet but I will try them out more so I already started here and hopefully I will finish it <laughs> uh, this winter because this is a winter page. If you want to see the outcome, here you can find the solutions of every page. And this is the page that I'm trying to color. Next one was a gift from my husband. This is tropical glitter. He bought it at a local store uh, here in the Netherlands. So I'm not certain if you can buy it uh, on Amazon or not. And they are tropical glitter. And they already have a background. And there are some glitter on the page. I hope you can see it. It gives a nice effect with all going over with alcohol markers. Some of the pages are quite intimidating, but some of the pages are quite easy. And 
I really like that the background's already done. That was that one. Then we go to the next file. Yep. And the first one is this the one. Merwin stained glass color by number by Sunlight Roaring, I think. Yes, yeah, Sunlight Roaring. Ah, I'm surprised that I didn't color in this book too because <laughs> I finished multiple coloring books of the this kind of stained glass and I really liked it. <laughs> so I know I'm gonna have fun in this book. And they are all mermaid. They have numbers here and uh, just uh, pick out the colors and color away. This is very mindless coloring and I enjoy that too. So this was mermaid stained glass color by number. The next one is color Custopia. I finished last year or the year before and color Custopia. So that's the reason why I buy another one. And uh, this is the Chibi Girl Volume 2. And uh, this is the black um, black background edition. They do have some uh samples or bonus pages from other coloring books so that is also fun and yeah i think i'm gonna enjoy this book too i really like that they are, don't have a lot of colors some of the books of color custom has so many numbers of colors and this is quite easy to do and i really like that you can choose any skin tone too and uh, I really like the big lines and this is also very mindless coloring just pick out the colors and uh, color away and sometimes I really like to color mindless that's also with the next book you can choose one color or uh, multiple colors <laughs> I did different way this is also um, I have uh, volume 1 I did finish and then I bought, bought volume 2 and if I finish this one then I will buy volume 3 not before that and this is all lines and dots and yeah it's also very relaxing to do <laughs> just pick one color out and color away I like in this book that the lines are a little bit bigger than the other one that I had. And they are all different uh, landscapes from all over the world. The next one is Christine Karen. And it is created throughout world times oh my english <laughs> uh, read yourself <laughs> uh, this is a grayscale coloring book and uh, i really like my like my christine karen i really like grayscale too i have finished uh, one book of her too and i tried to finish this year a second one from her so I'm gonna spend more time in that book, but I will try to color at least one or two in this book too. I really like it. Beautiful pages in this book. The next one is also a very difficult name. I have multiple coloring books that I didn't color in, uh, but this is also the reason why I try to finish one book and then pick out another book and I collect her. Uh, I really like this illustrator. And this is the funniest fairy cuties uh, by Daria Karczewski. <laughs> and they are so fun the pages and uh, I love to color it in but maybe I will let it go and color in every book of her at least one or two pages and 
And then is this number seven. I also finished last year one book of her, so. And this is cool, beautiful, fun fantasy. Sometimes if I look at the page, they are very intimidated, but and I have no idea how to color. And when I look at the page, maybe a couple of weeks later, and then I have all total, total ideas. So sometimes I will put it aside and grab it book again, and then I have ideas to color in. And I also like that she gives some samples, so you can. Uh, copy it or have some ideas to how to do it I have to say that I will do that sometimes <laughs> and I like also to see finished pages of other colorists so that you have some ideas and the next one is Mag Magical Beauties coloring book by Christina McAllister I'm sorry that I butchered some of the names I'm it's not on purpose um, this is also a book I really like but it is also very intimidating they are grayscale I uh, just have to pick one page and just start with them sometimes I'm overthinking and ugh, some of the pages I don't like like this one Whew. I just have to start and pick one page and just go with it. Oh, they don't think we're in order, so there's not a Darcy. Yeah. There will come a couple of them now. Uh, this is Color, Color and Beauty Gorgeous Fantasy. I'm busy in one book of her now because I want to finish that book this year. But I have to color in this book too. They are so beautiful. And you can do it quite easy with only alcohol markers or with color pencils. She gives you already a guide where the shadings are. So you can so do it so easy or as hard if you want to do it yourself. I'm doing it with alcohol markers. I like the effect with alcohol markers. And then we have uh, coloring ocean mermaids. I finished this book uh, last year. I'm not certain which book I'm now busy in. <laughs> which number that one is. But you will see it with my finished pages. I already colored two pages in this uh, this month. And you can find it on my Instagram too. The pages that I colored. Love mermaids. I think this is the first book from her. Coloring Chick. Yeah, number one. She has grown as an illustrator. And that's also fun to see. It's a fun book. And then we have another favorite of me. It's Tyson, Whimsical Time. This is the only book that I didn't touch. No, the other books I already colored in. <laughs> because I really like this illustrator. And this is thinking... I think this is the first book from her. And this is also an illustrator that grows. You can see um, the difference between the drawing in this book and the other books. But they are so cute. It's a cute book. 
And I also finished last year one of her books in one month. <laughs> I cannot still not believe. <laughs> so it's doable to finish one book in one month. <laughs> And the next one is another by Jane Pasforena, Whimsical Darling Coloring Book. I really like this illustrator too. I like uh, the small pages and I like her girls. I like the fantasy. There are different seasons in this book too. And then we have um, The Magical God by Deborah Muller. This is also an illustrator that I like. I don't like every book from her, but some of them are very beautiful, like this one. It's very uh, whimsical, and you can do every color you want. It is like a fantasy. Next one is another Amita Victoria. This is Shape and Beauty. And you get two sets of coloring. I have to color in this book too. I like that the girls are a little bit bigger. So the first one is a little bit grayscale, the second part is not grayscale, so you can choose between them. I prefer more grayscale than uh, just line art, but that's for everyone uh, different. What's the Mita Victoria? Next one is Sherry Baldy, my bestie, snowflake and besties. So it is in the season. <laughs> I hope to color in this book this month or uh, I think it will be in February. But uh, they are have duplicates too. The only thing I don't personally don't like and that has uh, has Hannah Lynn too that uh, duplicates are. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Um, I cannot find the Dutch, the Dutch words, I know, <laughs> the English word, that they are um, uh, beneath them, or uh, uh, I cannot find, but you, 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 I hope you can understand that they're not a separate section with duplicates, like the other book that I showed you, that there is a totally new section of uh, duplicates. I like that more than they are um, I cannot find it. <laughs> I hope you know what I uh, mean. Some of the pages do intimidate me too, <laughs> because of all the small details. I think I have to choose. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> um, I just have to choose a page and just color. I think I will use some glitter on the background, on the snowflakes. And then we go into the smaller box. This is color by colors. Tender Madellas by Kira Schirchenega. 
I hope I say that the right, otherwise you can read it. I had this book uh, in my hand a couple of times last year, but it came not. <laughs> it was not to be to color in. <laughs> I hope to do it this year. Um, it is the first kind of uh, the coloring book like this. So it is fun to try it out. And I like some of the other, other coloring books. I will try to finish this book first, then I will buy another one. And then I have this Princesses. This is by Hatchet Heroes. And they are all squares. I did not color in this book yet because I was finishing another kind of book last year. And that one I finished so I can start in this book. I really like to do uh, the X methods in this book too. Or the silk, uh, not the X method, but the circles one. I like that to do it. And these are the solutions. This is how the pages <laughs> will be at the end. At least I will try. <laughs> They are all princesses and fairies. I'm a little bit sad that they are not single sided but double sided so uh, I hope I can use my water based markers but I'm gonna try out at the first page or the last page and then I have this one Rita Berman Mein Reise Dur Europa she is also I do have this one too this is uh, uh, the postcards This one is already falling apart. I like uh, the postcards too. So I want to color at that at least also one. Uh, yes, I will put it there. And this one I also didn't color in yet. It's a beautiful book, so I'm gonna choose one page and just color in two. And then I have this one, Enchanted Faces Mermaid Fairies Fantasy Pocket Size Coloring Book by Hannah Lynn. I have finished the uh, She has another one, and that one I finished uh, not last year, but the year there before. And I have some whips in this book. It's just a cute, cute coloring book, so I know I'm gonna color in this book. Like here, I did already did the background, so just one page is small but fun to color in it can go all the way out with just straight coloring glitter whatever you want to use <laughs> this is also a pocket size book uh, i wanted to color in this last year in uh, october but it didn't came and this is a tiny little horrors coloring book uh, by guy Then books, is that the illustrator? Some of the pages are a little bit uh, yikes, <laughs> but some of them are quite cute and I think I will color first the cute ones and then the, the pages that I don't really like. It's a little, little bit out of my comfort zone, but sometimes you have to search uh, things up. And then I will do first the. Uh, I will put this here. I will start with the hardcover books. And the first one is this Tales from the Witch's 
Quitsit Cottage by Hannah Carlson. I didn't color in this book not yet. Uh, I like uh, the illustration in this book, so I want to certainly color in this year. I finished last year the Tales from the Forest Kingdom, so that is what I was quite busy with. But this book is also very fun to color in. And I hope I can use my Fibra color again in this book too, like the last book. Yeah, it is a cute book. This book was a surprise that I didn't color in in two, and that was Maria Troller, Madella. I know that this has another another name in English. I don't know the name, the English name. Um, I really like this color, <laughs> uh, but I didn't color. Yes, I t I started uh, something to test out, but that's all. <laughs> I didn't. I thought I had colored in this book, but it was not uh, the case. <laughs> but the year is long, so I will find some pages to color in this year. I am busy to finish this year um, Maria Troll the Dream Rise. I like it. It's uh, like a story about this girl. And most of the books that I'm going to show you from here on are a little bit intimidating to me to color in, like this one, Mary, Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Makova. But I'm going to be a brave girl and color at least one or two pages. In each book, they are quite beautiful, but also quite intimidating. <laughs> and I also a little bit scared to ruin the page. That's thinking uh, what I regret. And I see some color colorist color these things so beautiful but I'm gonna to do it my way <laughs> if I like it that's the most important I think I think this will be one of the first pages that I will do I'm, I'm still uh, drawn to this page every time I'm going through this book Beautiful book, I really like her. And that's also by this book. I have to say, this book is not uh, available that long time ago. This is the newest one, so that's not a surprise that, that I didn't color in this book. And this beautiful coloring book, too. Oh my. I have tried to color every month at least one page in one of her coloring books. I'm not certain that it will be this month, but I will try to do it next month. But we will see. I have still time to do it. <laughs> um, this is the book that I'm not gonna color in. This is... Um, these two coloring books. I will go flip through them, 
because they are not available anymore so they are the last books that I want to color in um, at least in my country they are not available anymore I don't know if they are on Etsy available still but they not cut uh, they, she does not make any more prints of them so it's a little bit sad but otherwise it is also sad that I don't color in them maybe I will find the courage someday to color in them because they are beautiful and you can see also this is the first one from her so you can see that she grows also in her illustration that it's fun to see how illustrators artists grow in their coloring journey too such beautiful coloring books I really like my Claire Makova she's one of my first uh, books that I started with my coloring journey so she has a special place in my heart too and that's the reason why I buy her books too I really like also not to watch the uncolored uh, un pages too they are quite uh, they are art for me too And then we have uh, the Sprookjesbos by Thomas La Domic. Uh, I'm thinking about the, 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 this is the Dutch name of the book, but the English name. Uh, I cannot find it <laughs> anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is also. A quite intimidating coloring book I'm gonna color in this book with my fine liners I think and some glitter gel pen of course and maybe some paint I'm not certain what I gonna throw on these pages <laughs> but at least I will pick out one page and just start it well last year a couple of times I did want to start a page but it did not became so I'm certain I'm gonna finish at least one or two pages in this book too. It's a lovely book. See, uh, he or he or she has another book, but I only have this one. I hope my st stack of books don't fall. <laughs> uh, this is the count romantic country third tale. I did color in the first one, but the other two I didn't. So. It's time to color in <laughs> this book still. I really like uh, this series of coloring books. I know she has a lot of more coloring books. I have only the country, romantic country, all three of them. And this is about Eri. Eri is the illustrator. And they are also a little bit intimidating, but it is doable. This is a romantic country. The second tale. Beautiful illustration too. Rhapsody in the Forest by Kaliona Ponmaya. I hope you can read it. <laughs> I have the, the other one too. Uh, These are books that also intimidate me to color in. Uh, 
I really like uh, the pages. That's not uh, the problem. <laughs> I don't just know. I'm scared to color in them. I don't know why. And then minuut van uh, van geluk. I like that there are stories about animals that they have uh, clothes on. Maybe I will find the courage to color in the stool box this year, but we will see. But they are beautiful, beautiful books. And the last one already, and that is uh, Nico Neta. It's also a book that intimidates, but it's cute. It's all about cats, <laughs> and I really like cats. And it is also a new book, so. Uh, <laughs> it's okay that I didn't color in it yet. I think that I'm not going to color the cats realistic. Uh, because I'm horrible with realistic coloring. So uh, I'm not going to try it, I think. That's my feeling for now. Maybe uh, it will change. But it is that's a beautiful, cute book. <laughs> And that were all my books that I didn't touch. Uh, I already told you I hope to color in most of the books <laughs> this year. And I also promised you to tell you how many books that were not uncolored. It is 54 books. A lot of books. I thought uh, I had colored in more books. But I have a lot of books that I did color in. And I finished quite some books last year and the year before so it's okay <laughs> it gives me a goal this year to uh, tackle those books that I didn't touch and uh, I hope you enjoyed to see it and if you want to see a full flip through of any of the books that I show you today please let me know down in the description and if you want to see a video with all the books that I already colored in, let me know also down in the description. Then I will make a separate video about them and show you the finished pages uh, in the in the books that I already colored in. Um, I will do uh, at least at the end of the year. Um, I will go through all my coloring books. <laughs> it's fun to show you. Uh, if I manage to color in all the books that I didn't color in. Uh, so uh, I have a busy year ahead of me. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, some of the books I really want to color in. <laughs> and I hope uh, I find the time and the courage in some of the books to color in. But it will be fine. Uh, I will take baby steps. Every book that I colored in is one book. <laughs> Uh, call it in and then I wish you uh, uh, nay, I want to thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see uh, more of my coloring journey please subscribe to my channel and then I want to thank you and then I will see you in the next video of mine bye bye